What's going on guys, Vex are back, and today we got a brand new video of YouTube removing the dislike button for whatever reason and their really bad announcement video of this happening. But if you are not subscribed, make sure you smash that sub button because we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. But let's jump into this YouTube dislike news. So this is the video of this announcement that we're going to look at because it's it's such a weird, like, not really excited video of announcing this news. That's supposed to be amazing. But let's take a quick uh, look into what they have to say about this. Hey, folks, you may have seen a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. Now, if you're like me, you were surprised by that. I mean, I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not, if it's a helpful tutorial or not, or if what a creator is is saying in their video is generally agreed with or not. So yeah, that's exactly what the dislike bar is for. If people agree with what you're saying or not, if people think that it was a good tutorial, I mean, tutorials are massive with the dislike and like bar. If it has massive dislikes and no likes, it's a bad tutorial. You don't waste your time watching it. But if it has you know, massive likes and not a lot of dislikes, then you can watch it and assume that the information in it is probably pretty good. So that's exactly what the dislike button is for. It doesn't make any sense at all to why they would remove the dislike button for maybe a couple instances where people use it for fun, but to not really say something or dislike the video. They just want to go attack creators. Like when creators get into drama, obviously one fan base, goes to another channel, smashes the dislike button, and the other fan base goes to their channel and dislikes the video for no reason. But that doesn't happen all that much, especially now. But unfortunately, research teams at YouTube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video that I had never experienced as a creator and you may not have either. Apparently, groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. So, but what does that really matter? If someone doesn't like the creator, yeah, they're gonna dislike the video. There's constantly people who don't like certain people and they dislike a video. But when you look at the ratio, the likes always outweigh the dislikes. On any video in the world, there's gonna be dislikes on it. It's just people not liking the person. They're going to dislike it. Mr. Beast videos have dislikes on them for no reason at all. And, I mean, you can't fix that. But the likes heavily outweigh it. And not to mention, getting these dislikes pushes engagement on the channel. As long as it's not massive dislikes with no likes, where YouTube stops pushing the video, if it's getting dislikes and still getting likes, and the likes are higher than the dislikes, YouTube pushes the video more. So. It doesn't make sense to take that away because somebody is targeting a dislike button because they don't like someone. That that still kind of serves the purpose of the dislike button in a way. So earlier in 2021, YouTube experimented with making the public dislike count private to see if it would help reduce these coordinated dislike attacks across the platform. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. Wow, who would have thought if you take away something that people aren't going to use it anymore who would have saw that coming but for a couple bad apples how much video gets uploaded to youtube a day and then what percent of that gets attacked with dislikes i would assume it's a very very low amount and if you're getting attacked with dislikes and you can't handle it and you don't want to do it go off youtube you don't need to be on the platform that's the, the point of all this stuff. You don't have to be making videos doing this if you don't like that people are disliking your video or don't like what you have to say. The update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. You can still dislike videos and that action will be used to tune your own recommendations, but you won't be able to see the dislike count. Only the creator can find it on the back end if they want. Now, a few common questions we saw from the initial experiment. First, 
Without a public dislike count, how can viewers tell if a video is worth watching? Again, I kind of have this question too, but it turns out that while viewers might use the dislike count to give them a sense of a video's worth, when the teams looked at the data across millions of viewers and videos in the experiment, they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership. So I don't know about this, all this data and the great data they have, put it out. If you have all this data, put it out, let people look at it. But you, how can you just blindly trust them and say, we have the data and say, can we see the data? You say, no, 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 you don't need to see the data. We have it, don't worry, we have the data. But just show the data, show everyone what's going on, show everyone the results and everything and how it's all affecting anything. Because I don't think that it's affecting to the way that YouTube thinks that it is. List of whether they could see the dislike count or not. In other words, it didn't really matter if a video had a lot of dislikes or not, they still watched. Next common question, if creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab. But overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment if the count isn't visible to the public. Stress and embarrassment for dislikes. If you can't handle it, don't be on YouTube. Just go do something else. You don't need to be in the public eye of talking to people and on the internet. And if they don't agree with you, they're going to dislike this thing. I have had videos where it gets massively disliked because I say stuff that people don't want to hear or don't agree with. Like when I talk about Litecoin and say how worthless it is. And people don't want to hear that because they want it to go to the moon and make them rich. And they just like the video. And I'm not sitting here crying saying, oh my God, how can they dislike the video? That makes no sense. That, whatever. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. It's fine. I don't care. I'm still going to talk and say whatever I feel like I want to say. I don't care what the dislike and like ratio is as long as I feel like it's good content. And on top of that, if you do something that the vast majority of people don't agree with, you should, you, you have to be humiliated or put in public and seeing how much people don't agree with you if you do something that people don't agree with. You can't live in your own fantasy bubble and do no wrong and never have to worry about anyone not agreeing with you ever again. That, that doesn't exist. It's not the real world. You cannot live in that world. One more common question. Is this because YouTube Rewind got lots of dislikes? No. Yeah. Although there are some teams internally who have learned the hard way what it feels like to get lots of dislikes. Now, this again is about... What, what does that mean? Some teams internally, what it feels like to get lots of dislikes. You made a terrible video. The rewind was terrible. People didn't like it. That's why you got dislikes. It, it, it wasn't a targeted thing. People hated YouTube rewind. You didn't get targeted. You made a trash rewind. That's simple. You, instead of blaming everyone and saying, they should just like what I do. <laughs> learn from it and say, why don't they like what I do? And then fix it and learn on it. So many people just don't want to be confronted with different ideas or people that don't agree with them and, and just say, you don't exist. Like, learn from it. If, especially if you're in YouTube making content for people, you should be looking at the responses you get. If it's massively disliked and not and hated, and you don't have a ton of support on it, then why is that? Go into why they're doing that. What is going on? Don't, you can't just sit there and say, no, these people are wrong. I know I'm right. <laughs> and, and hide dislikes. What are you going to do next? Hide comments? Because people are going to say, talk to you and say comments that they don't agree with you. Or the comment, the next top comment is going to be, use me as a dislike button. People like to rate things. About protecting all creators and making sure they have a chance to succeed and feel safe in doing so. All right, so that's the update. I hope it doesn't cause too much frustration. Honestly, I think you're gonna get used to it pretty quickly and keep in mind other platforms don't even have a dislike button. So saying other platforms don't have dislike buttons like Twitter, and that's why ratio became a thing. When you ratio someone, it shows that the majority of people don't agree with what the original tweet said or the tweet, use me as a dislike button, became so popular. People want to rate things to say if they agree or disagree. They don't want to live in this way where it's like everything has to be agreed upon. And if you don't agree, then you just pretend it doesn't exist. That doesn't make any sense at all.
So uh, why YouTube would go down this road uh, is probably because of the massive backlash on YouTube Rewind, which made them stop the whole thing altogether. I don't remember the last time I saw a Rewind. And on top of that, they are going so corporate and all these giant corporate brands probably don't like that if they make something and it gets lots of dislikes, they don't like the look of it. So they just want to pretend it's not there. So hopefully it's, it's going down this road, but I mean, the comment is going to be use me as a dislike button. That's the new top comment. And we can look at the first YouTube video ever uploaded. Uh, and I think he's a founder of YouTube right here. He changed the description to talk about all the stuff going on with this dislike button. And you can see the first watching uh, Matt Caval's announcement of the removal of dislikes. Thought, it, thought something was off. The spoken words did not match the eyes. Video reminded me of an interview. Admiral Jeremiah Denton in 1966. I've never seen a less enthusiastic, more reluctant announcement of something that is supposed to be great. That's exactly what this is. They just took someone, a key figure, and just kind of put him out there and told him to talk about this. And he wasn't like, guys, dislikes, they're going away. It's going to be amazing to see the future of YouTube without dislikes. He was sitting there like, yeah, the uh, dislikes are going away. Uh, I had the same question you had. And they just, they uh, seem to be answered by the data that we can't show you. He was so, like, he doesn't care. And he doesn't want to do the announcement. That, that much is obvious. We know this because there exists not a single YouTube creator who thinks removing dislikes is a good idea for YouTube or for creators. There has not been one video that has come out on this subject saying, this is a good job, YouTube. I wanted to get rid of dislikes too. And it already exists. That feature already exists. If you want to get rid of dislikes and likes and disable ratings, you can. So if you know you're going to put out a video that people are going to hate, or if you're in some drama with another creator, and we know fan bases go back and forth with dislikes, you can disable the ratings, and then you don't have to deal with that. So there's already a solution to this. Instead of taking away all dislikes for every single person on the platform, pretend people making bad uh like judgments or bad talking about things that people don't agree with them just doesn't exist. That it, it still exists. And then the main reason, the ability to easily and quickly identify bad content is an essential feature of user-generated content platform. Why? Because not all user-generated content is good. It can't be. In fact, most of it is not good, and that's okay. The idea was never that all content is good. The idea was, however, that among the flood of content, there are great creations waiting to be exposed and for that to happen, the stuff that's not great has to fall by the side as quickly as possible. So that is what happens with dislikes, with all this stuff. If someone puts out a video that is super trash and, you know, it is just all wrong in all aspects and it gets massive dislikes, then the, the algorithm will throw it away. It won't push it anymore and it just will kind of die there in views. But if it's a video with a massive, massively good video and so much good stuff going on, It'll get massive likes and it'll get some dislikes, but it'll continue to get to push forward because the people agree that this is a good piece of content. But if you take away dislikes, you take away the incentive to like the video or rate the video at all. And then all of a sudden now you have tons of trash content flooding the algorithm because there's nobody wasting their time rating because they feel like it doesn't matter. So that's something that can happen with this where you don't actually see a positive change disabling dislikes other than the handful of creators that get attacked from dislikes so crazy news from uh youtube disabling the dislike button uh, i feel like i've seen it sometimes where it's, it's disabled other times i see the whole count so i don't know what they're doing if it started yet or whatnot but the whole thing is kind of dumb and i don't think that dislikes should be taken away at all. That's going to do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and dislike if you really want to, but ultimately smash the subscribe button because we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in my next video.